Yeah. Ethan is a really fun, curious kid. He asked a lot of really great questions and we're really happy to have him. We went to Dr. Matthew Alexander's lab at UAB Children's and we got to see all the research he's doing with Duchenne muscular dystrophy on zebrafish. We're currently in, working on an investigational drug in order to treat some of the symptoms of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. We've got some really great preliminary data in our zebrafish models. But we're hoping that this drug blocks a lot of the inflammation and fibrosis often associated with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I asked Dr. Alexander um, how you can actually see through the zebrafish. And that was amazing to me, and I was very fascinated. Seeing Ethan in Dr. Alexander's lab was just so neat because he's literally watching what they are trying to do to help him. But he thought it was pretty incredible. I mean, he was completely fascinated with everything that Dr. Alexander said and all of the fish. Seeing him there, seeing a doctor possibly work on a medicine that could save his life, just that connection in itself is just mm, amazing. So it's, it's always great to have kids in the lab because you can really interact with them at a really basic level and tell them what you're doing and you can say, hey, look, you know, we've got this really cool model and, you know, we're working on your disease and this is something that, you know, you might see within your lifetime. He's, we have new technology that didn't even exist and so we're finding better treatments that are more specific to the patients and so I think you're going to see some really cool things come out of the field. Without people like Dr. Alexander and the people that are doing this research, like I said, there's so many families that are affected by neuromuscular diseases that wouldn't have a hope. After having Ethan and his family here, it really motivates us to work even harder in the lab each and every day. Thank you, Dr. Alexander, for all you do to help kids like me.